Well, how do that, chums? Tis I, Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, I've got a cup of tea. I guess I have. So this is a cup of tea with Captain Steve Fidians. I guess it is. You're probably wondering what was that little chap that I held up inside of my webcams at the start. Let me grab him. Oh, this little chappy up here. He's a Starcom figure. He's got magnets in his feet. He sticks to stuff that's metal, because that's what magnets do. Boom! <laughs> there he goes. Anyway, people, we're going to do the Distant World Tours today inside of No Man's Sky. So let's go and hit on up the game. Let's jump on in. Let's have a look at where we're going. Oh, before we jump on into the game, we have to actually get the portal code and show you where I'm going, don't we? So let's go on over to my reaction camera rather than my game camera. So this is it, the Distant World Tours. And we're on this one, Point of Interest, Strange Worlds. And you can't clickety-click this one. It doesn't take you in anywhere. It just says, Stars Explore, Worlds Collide. There's hardly anywhere in the universe where humans can live without being frozen or fried. Ooh, it's a rhyme. And yet, you believe that there is a bed is a normal thing. That bed is a normal thing. It's the most amazing talent, Terry Pratchett. Um, okay. Alright. Fine. Not quite sure I understand that one. Um, yeah, they do keep you warm. They do keep you cool, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. I have no, I have no idea what that's all about. Anyway, looking at this screenshot, though, that appears when you hover over it, it looks like two planets colliding. I think I may have already been here once. I don't know whether I did a video on it, though. Anyhow, we're going to jump on over there quickly, but then we're going to be moving on to Waypoint 4. I'm going to do both of these in the same episode, people. Okay, so here we go. Let's let's hit this one up then, peeps. Let's jump on over into game. Here we go. Back get. Kaboom! And we're into game. I guess we are. We should be near to my portal base. There's my portal just there. I guess let's take a run and leap and a jump. Kaboom! There I go with my melee strafe jump over hill and straight on over. To the portal! Lovely jubbly. Let's go and hit on up that first code, people inside the viewerverse. Interact Mondo! Lovely jobs. And uh, let's, uh, let's get this underway, people, with the first of the glyph code. Boom! I'll do this in a set of four. So your first four is the Eclipse. Chicka pow! Eclipse is in. Followed by the Sunday set. Chicka boom! Could be a sunrise, who frigidly knows. A box with a brick in it, I guess. A voxel. Lovely jubbly. And we've got ourselves a beetle. Yes, it's not a spider. It's only got six legs. Boom! That's your first four. All right. Next, we want ourselves a triforce or this triangular thing. Looks like something out of Zelda, isn't it? That we got ourselves a fish or a whale. Lovely jubbly. And a sunset or sunrise. Who cares? And a boatman boat face. Chicka boom boom. Chicka pow pow. Last four peeps. We got another triforce. Triforce. A dragon to fly, dragon to fly, Sunday set, and a pigeon, a freaking wild pigeon, people, or a birdie man bird bird. Now, yes, we have got the Free Pigeons Guildford meetup coming up in August of the UK, the No Man's Sky meetup 2023. Anyway, this portal isn't going to take us there. Heck no, it's not. Let's go on in anyway, then. Boom. And we're in. So, yeah, this is going to be an interesting one. So, this is just sort of like a, a little bit of a look at the part of the galaxy. It hasn't got a base, hasn't got any. Um, ships to note or multi-tours or anything like that but i probably will be going into the station in this system to use the portal to get back again and you know if it is quite an interesting place people may have built bases there but i'm probably not going to frequent them or visit them because there's none listed here to actually visit you know what i will do though have another sip of my tea mm -hmm. Joypad just vibrated, so I know that I've arrived to Kated. Let's see where I am in this magical, mystical place. Ah, okay, cool, yeah. Here we are. We've arrived to Kated on this lovely frozen world. Freaking frozen hellscape. Right, well, let's fly up into the atmosphere, up where the air is clear. Oh, it's, it's an infested, infested one at that. Oh, yeah, brilliant. It definitely is a hellscape, then, isn't it? Well, let's take to the skies. Not that we really understand or know why the infested planets are a thing, or why they're happening. It's not overly mentioned in the lore of why it's happening. We know that worms like to frequent them, and we've got the worm babbers and stuff like that. But other than that, we don't really know why they're here. Okay, so we've got that planet. All right, lovely. Hold on, is there another planet grafted onto the underside of this one? Is this it? Is this what we're looking at? Let's let's go this way a little bit. Boom. 
and I think it is. I think it's an infested planet nestled so close together to what looks like a swamp planet of all things. Okay, so swamp planets and volcanic planets got added in not so long ago. Perhaps when they did. Um, Hello Games didn't um, adjust their algorithm <laughs> for how close they can spawn together. But it looks like someone has actually placed a base right on the cusp of these two worlds there people now it's not a point of interest on the actual world tour and I, I imagine at this point if you really wanted to build bases here I, I don't suppose that would be an issue I, I doubt anyway oh and another thing I've had a little bit of clarification given to me on this whole world tour that at the very end of the world tour I'm going to be visiting a place where people are invited to build so yeah at the end of the world tour people are building and apparently it's quite a, a good little hub so yeah so yeah hold on out for the end of the world tour for that one but there we go so two planets colliding if you want to see two planets colliding and maybe visit that base it's all here for the discovery heck yes for those people but you know what i'm going to be flying into the station and i'm going to be using the portal to jump back to my portal base and we're going to be hitting up the next waypoint and going over to visitor base that's uh, done by the next chapter. In fact, there's five bases in this system, and it's by Mr. Pishhead that we're going to be jumping over to. You know what? Um, I'll bring it up on the screen in a second when we're walking back over to my portal base to give you a little bit of a sneaky look at what we might be seeing in there. I mean, there's five bases. I'm not going to visit all five. I'll probably visit maybe one or two. Now, Mr. Pishhead did hit me up and say, out of all my bases, I think you should try hitting up this one or this one. Um, but you know what, I, I completely forgot which bases, so I'm just going to hit up the first two that I go to, and whatever the first two I go to, I go to, you know, so does that make me a little bit larger on the screen, chicken burn. Uh, so there we go, I'm just going to have another sip of my tea while we're walking back to my portal base. Mm. That was a bit of a noisy slurp, sorry people. And um, yeah, I'll be uh, popping over to my reaction camera, chicken burn. And we're going to have a look at Mr. Pishhead's system. Let's hit it up then, people. Boom! And here we go. So, yeah, Mr. Pishhead had one of his bases actually featured by Hello Games inside of the old Nexus by that portal there. And you can see here, he does some wondrous freaking things. Oh, my days. That's that weird tree I like. <laughs> okay, this is going to be fun. All right, let's just scroll on down. I mean, I, I think any of the bases that we visit here are going to be freaking great. But there's quite a bit of a write-up here that you can read if you want to partake in the reading. Not an avid reader myself, but very cool. So here we are, Planet 1, Lafara Portal. That does look quite cool. It looks like it's got an underground sort of area to it as well. And these giant round spherical things. Agara. Very cool. All right. I like the name of the planet on that one. And these giant wheels are really cool. They're like giant Catherine wheels or something, don't they? But look at this one. Mamatas. That one I think I want to visit out of them. I like the look of that one. That one looks cool. Almost looks like some sort of alien ship that he's made out of those whirly twirlyman things. Jahan, more whirling and twirly things. It looks like he's got a whirling and twirly thing type thing going on. And also a Mandela Mansoleum, which is pretty darn sweet. I love these towers too. Out of the two, I think I want to visit that one, Mandela Mansoleum. And also a Mama Taz, but we'll see. We'll see what we, we find anyway. The ships here, multi-tools and fauna. So here's Mr. Pishhead. Let's have a quick read. Hello, I'm Rich Smith, a.k.a. Mr. Pishhead, a.k.a. Bion Shirt 7.0. You've got a lot of names. You've got a lot of names. No Man's Sky is all my, my all-time favourite game, and I pretty much... And I pretty much all I play these day, days. Same, same, mate. I'm an avid base builder and have built hundreds of bases over the years. I have about 100 bases and counting that still can be visited. I've been lucky enough to have three of my bases chosen to be featured in the Space Anomaly community highlights over the years. Three! Fudging heck, I've had one of mine and I, that felt good. Also, Sean Murray tweeted a screenshot of another base of mine, which still humbles me. I like to make up lore for the most of my builds and try to tie them into the game's lore, though No Man's Sky, I've, I've many, many, I've made many awesome friends and love the community happy 
building sa and safe travels. Nice one. Well, thank you very much there. And what's that? He's got a Discord. He's got a Discord, not a uh, YouTube channel. So I'm not going to hit that up and subscribe or all that sort of shenanigans that I normally do. But Mr. Pushhead, let me jump in over to your planetary system right now. And I think I might just visit one of these. I might just visit Mama Taz. I'm going to visit Mama Taz because that one interests me the most. And I'm hoping I'm going to land inside of night time. Okay, so let's go on over into game and let's go and have a quick visit then. Kaboom! I do like the look of the one with the towers in it though, because it mixes a bit of the Mandela's with some actual build. Right, so let's head on over here. I say actual build, of course it's a build, but you know what I mean, it's got a building. Yeah, okay, well let's head on over here. But Mama Taz for me, for some reason, has just ha captured my interest in the most part of those ones. So let's hit on up the old portal and let's stick on in that code. So let's scroll on back up. The Grand Tour! Oh, lovely job there. That's um put that code in Pow! I got myself an eclipse Chikaboom. a pigeon Chikaboom. and reflexione Chikaboom. followed by a rocket Chikaboom. dundily done and we've got ourselves a beetle probably Ringo he throws up a peace sign I was like peace sign it's, a, it's one of those triforce things at um, a waypoint probably Liverpool and then there was an eclipse and everything went dark and then a black hole appeared and sucked Paul Ringo into it and he ended up in a wham, kaboom and then a giant whale jumped up and uh, turned into a bird and flew away there you go that was a bit trippy wasn't it oh yeah duntily and done okay well let's head on into the old portal kaboom made a little mini story out of the second half of that didn't I peeps right let's head on into the old portal kaboom boom it's a pretty trippy story, but then again, most of the freaking Beatles songs are triply, aren't they? Right there, lovely. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Now, I think, rather than put the name of the bases, I think they might be the names of the planets the bases sit upon reading this. So, we might have to look for a planet called Mamatas, because they put it on uh, Planet 1, the Foria portal, Planet 2, Agara, yes, Planet 3, Mamatas. And it, oh yes, it's Mamataz is the planet's name, and then the actual name of the base should be Gekili Gardens. Gekili Gardens is what we're looking for, people inside the universe. My joypad just vibrated, so we should have arrived at Kated. There we go. Boom, we're in. Okay, well let's uh, head on up my ship. Let's fly on up into the sky. And I'm not on the right planet at the moment. We've got to find planet Mamataz. Boom. We're into this into the atmosphere. Go cool, yeah. And let's have a look what planet we've got in near Pesanata. You planet Mamataz. It is planet Mamataz. We found it straight away. It's the wing, wing, ringed, ringed planet I'm going to. There we go. We're on way. Now, I know this um, this goes a bit funny for people inside the viewerverse, doesn't it? When you actually, yeah, that's when I'm pulsing like this. Have I just run out of freaking pulse fuel? I think I have. All right. Hopefully that's the right one. No, I never know with the Sentinel technology eyes. Right, okay, well, I might as well carry on warping. It's going to take 27 seconds to get there, so I might as well make myself a little bit larger on the old screen and have a little sip of my tea. It saves all the rendering weirdness that happens inside No Man's Sky. I mean, that's been happening for freaking years over on YouTube, but I think it's a YouTube thing, not a No Man's Sky thing, you know? Nearing the bottom of that, nearing the bottom of that, people inside the viewers. Heck yes, I am. And uh, as lovely as that mug is, this bit of lovely bit of china, this lovely little bit of merch. If you want to drink cups of tea in a Captain Steve merch mug, I've got a new range, and it's actually got um, the uh, you know, the character, my character, on the actual mug as well. It says, you know, what the fudge? One of my favourite little catchphrases. In fact, I'm probably going to be saying that when I land here, aren't I? And look at this base. I'll probably be going, what the fudge has he done? Oh, well, let's go and land a hill. Boom! And let's land a coat. Not that you need a Captain Steve merch mug to drink cups of tea in when you're watching a cup of tea with Captain Steve episode, but you know, if you have got yourself some Tetley tea bags or Yorkshire or Red Bush or, or any of my other favourite breeds of tea, like PG, yeah, then, um, yeah, why the fudge not? Oh my god, look at this! Holy fudge glory! Look at that! That's pretty damn freaking crazy stuff, isn't it? Right, let's go into camera mode. Let's have a better look at this thing. I hate it that they've put that report base thing right where I normally go for camera. Normally I just tab across until I get to the end for camera. The amount of times that I nearly report bases when I'm freaking doing a base tour is is craziness. Alright, well let's put the sun beneath. Oh, look at that. That looks so much better at night time, doesn't it? 
that's that that's um okay i think that must be a viewing platform up there which is pretty darn freaking gnarly but look at that that is really cool now i used to have a thing called a spirograph as a kid and uh, i used to create stuff like this using biros yes using biros but you've done it using no man's sky base parts you can see here some of it hasn't rendered in for me but wait if i got closer it would so let's go on up to that viewing platform let's go on up pow um that didn't take me up did it all right let's uh, try again pow and i'm back up by my ship right well i don't know which one takes me up there i would have thought it would have been that one but it didn't all right, okay, well let's um let's use my jetpack and ninja skills then to get up there. Dun 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 Oh there it is. There's a teleporter there I think. Okay. Ah Okay, my ninja skills have failed me. Holy fudge. Okay, cool. Alright. Right, well there's ah, there's one teleporter there. Ah ha ha ha! I think this one takes me up. Up Up through the atmosphere. Up where the air is clear. Okay, where's the next one then? Because I should be able to go up again. There we go. Boom! There you go. Now I'm up there. There we are. Phew! Ninja skills were not needed, people. No, but I tried. At least I tried. Okay, so now we've got the viewing platform. We can see below us. It's pretty darn freaking epic, isn't it? Lovely job, eh? That is really cool. I like it. I like this quite a lot, in fact, people. I mean... Uh, <sighs> It is a glitch technique that I've seen in action. Scottish Rod once showed me how to build these. And I know that Action Pants Gaming is also a pretty apt ninja at making these sort of things. And Zoo Games. I've seen Zoo Games make some pretty cool ones. Now I've seen people use base parts to actually move and use these as like doorways and all sorts of crazy stuff. And um, yeah, really cool. But the reason I liked this one is just that there's so many of them sort of placed quite closely together. And all of them, I think, have subtle differences. Oh no, I think some are rep repetitions of others. But the way that they've been done, pattern-wise, they're really quite cool. They've got quite a lot of movement, quite a lot of flashing and lights going on. It looks quite alien, doesn't it? It's really something else. So although that I've seen quite a lot of these, usually in upright positions, almost like they're going to be some sort of weird portal or stargate, I've very rarely seen them used in this fashion, where they almost look like there's some sort of alien craft or some sort of entity like that looks biological. I half expect something like this to appear inside of the void, you know? I mean, most of these parts look like they've been used from like the infested planets and things. But if this was in cinematic mode, all this would be moving. You see these sort of starfishy things here? They would all move. Let me see if I can jump down onto that one and show you what I mean. So here we go. Let's jump onto this one. So... Although that you can see sort of like flashing lights and a little bit of movement, I'm standing on a blanking jellyfish here, people. But look, these little sort of things, all these tentacles are moving as well. They're quite subtle in their movement, but they are moving. Look, all wavy davy movements. Pretty darn freaking cool, huh? And of course, jellyfish are all moving as well. So there's a lot of movement to be had in this. It's really quite cool. Very nice choice of parts, and I love the way you've assembled this looks great it's pretty darn freaking sweet isn't it i guess it is double thumbs up there fish head yeah rich smith lovely jubbly very cool very cool very cool indeed duty so we go people that's that's pretty much waypoint what was this one was this waypoint four i think it's waypoint four i think this is episode four of this uh, series people it freaking is we're on waypoint four already and um Ah, okay, we've got we've got two points of interest by the looks of things next time, people. Let me jump over onto my reaction cam and I'll show you what I mean. So, boom, jumped over here. Now, this is this is odd. This, I mean, these are points of interest, but they've still got people's bases in. This one has anyway. It's not like the collided planets, and we've also got Delta City Noir. And it's actually got, you know, names of people that have been featured. Oh, I think because it, it, maybe this this one's like a create. This is like a collaborative build. OK, and this one here, updated by Major Striker. OK, so we've got two things here that we're going to go and visit. You know what? I might visit both of these, but do them on my members, my Monday members mooch. You know, I could do that, couldn't I? You know, everybody else will see it the next freaking day. It's not a problem. So I might do that this evening. So, yeah, there we go, people. I think we're going to be doing that live. Live. I do these two live as a live episode combined, Kated. Heck yes, hopefully you can join us for that, and that'd be awesome. Anyway, people, I think we're going to be ending off now. Um, 
How much tea have I got left? I haven't got much left. There's a little bit of dregs in the bottom. One gulp, two gulps, and it's going to be gone. I'm gone diddly gone. Freaking lovely. Heck yes. Anyway, people, I'm going to salute a Mondo and say cheery bye, and hopefully I'll see you for my Members Monday Mooch, which is like at, I think, 6pm this evening. Anyway, take care. <laughs> goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.